One of the ways that the Jewish community builds generational wealth is through family businesses. And you might say, well, there's nothing Jewish about family businesses. Everybody has them. Yeah, but we take them really, really seriously. There's two things that are really important to Jewish people. Number one is family. And number two is time. One of our missions in life is to create large families. And the other thing that we have the experience with is time. For 3,300 years, we've been in existence. So we understand the concept of continuity. One of the ways to build a family is by having the means, the funds to build a family. It's not cheap. I have five kids. I could tell you that it costs me at least $15,000 a month just to operate that ship. It's no joke. And we don't live so crazy. So if you want to build a family, you better make sure that you have money. And one of the ways that we do this is through making sure that our children have the ways to make money, which is through family businesses. Because at the end of the day, business is the main way to make money. A business owner makes more than a professional, a doctor, a lawyer, a dentist, an architect. We don't want to be a dentist. We want to own the dental practice. We don't want to be the architect. We want to own the architectural firm. We don't want to be a lawyer. We want to own the law firm. The mentality, it's a major shift. So we teach our children very young that being a business owner is going to be the way to get to the next level in your life and be successful. While everybody else has to start at practically ground zero, a young Jewish boy, who has the privilege of having a father who's in business, if the son is respectful, if the son is diligent, and if the son is willing to put in his work, he's going to have an incredible opportunity on his hands by entering into his father's business. It's not easy to get a business off the ground. It could take years. It could take over a decade to get a business to a place where it's solid and producing and consistent. So where everybody else has to go and they have to start from zero and they have to waste that first decade or two or sometimes three in building a business from scratch, a young Jewish boy is encouraged many times to go into a family business where it's already established for that one, two, or three decades. And he's able then to take that business to the next level, right? So imagine that continuity. And here's where the generational wealth comes into the whole thing, where your father sweat since 1970 or 1980 to bring his business into 2010 or 2015 or 2020, whatever it is. And he sweat in those first few decades to perfect the business model, to get it off the ground, to stabilize it. By the time a father is 50 years old, 60 years old, he's tired. He's tired. And if you don't have children, then the only options that you have is either A, to fold the business and there goes all of your hard work or B, sell it. And then there's nothing left and you exited. Hopefully you did well. A lot of times you have to sell it to whoever is willing to buy it. Whereas in the family business, what the Jewish community loves to do is to give that over to the next generation. And the next generation is able to take that 30 year old business and they're able to put 30 or 40 years into it. And now that 30 year old business, the next 30 years has the chance to grow exponentially. Why? Because they already went through the difficulties of building that really hard foundation to build to the next level. You know, my father, for example, example, he was in the scrap metal business and he tells us stories when he was growing up. And when he first started his own business, his father died in a plane crash. And when he went to go earn money for the family, because he had no choice, he was 17 years old and his neighbor was in the scrap metal business. And as a favor, what his neighbor would do, they would bring him in the car with him and they would take him on their routes that they would go pick up scrap metal at the local manufacturing plants. And that's how he started. And slowly but surely he grew and eventually he bought his own truck and eventually he bought his own machinery and eventually he rented his own place and eventually you know it all sort of formed into its own business when i came into that business when i was 20 years old so that was 15 years ago the business was doing about eight or nine million dollars a year i worked in that business for almost a decade i introduced new products new services and new technologies why because i had the ability to do that if i was busy driving the truck like my father had to do, there's no way that I would have been able to spend my energy and my brain power on building the business as a whole. I would have had to spend my hand power like my father had to do. But because I was introduced into a business when the business was already three decades old, it already had the means to support my salary. And I was able to go build new product lines. By the time I left that business, the business was doing $30 million a year in volume. So I was able to triple that business in 10 years where it took my 
my father 30 years to get to eight or nine million dollars a year. So family businesses are a vehicle to create this generational wealth that everybody wants and that ultimately is beneficial for the entire family unit. Now, why did I leave? Because I had younger brothers who entered into the business and they had their own ways of doing things. And anybody knows one of the downsides about family business, I don't want to you know, paint it so bad or so good, but one of the downsides in family business is you're doing business with family. And I had a hard time getting along with my brothers. And I decided that if I was going to keep my family, then I had to leave the business. But by the time I went to go on my own, and I went into a different industry, by the way, because I didn't want to compete with my family, because that in itself is a terrible thing to do. Family is the first word. Business is the second word. Why? Because family comes first and business comes second. So when I went to go start my own business, I couldn't go into the same business line that they were in. I had to start a new business from scratch. I could tell you something. It was really difficult. It was really hard. It's still hard. I'm eight years into it. It's still hard. It's very different from entering into a business that has three decades under its belt. It's very difficult to start a business. But if you have that capacity and if you have that ability, your aim, your goal should be to create a business where your family can eventually take that over and take it to the next level. Today, my father lives the life. He travels to Europe. He lives in Miami half the year. He literally lives the life. He's semi-retired. Why? Because he has two very capable young men, my brothers, who are there running and operating his business day in and day out and making sure that his investment is growing. So everybody wins. My brothers won because they get to step into a family business that's established now for four decades. And my father wins because he has two young, hungry men who are capable because they went through this whole family business experience and listening to my father's stories at the dinner table year after year. And they're running his business for him and doing his bidding and growing his interest for him. So a major Jewish business secret to building generational wealth is growing and building a family business and passing that over to the next generation. I hope this video brought you value. If it did, leave me a like, leave me a comment, hit the subscribe button. And if you like this video, you're going to love the next one. God bless.